Hey guys, and welcome back to our F1 2010 career mode, Season 3, Round 7. The season's head to North America for the Canadian Grand Prix. I think it's 70 laps of Montreal Street Circuit. And last time out, if you missed that one, the Turkish Grand Prix ended in absolute disaster for me as I got disqualified, our first disqualification in our career mode so far. Hopefully, no repeat of that today, but we need to work on some good results to close back up to Mark Webber and the rest of the lead pack in the championship. Let's jump into this one. After the Turkish Grand Prix, this was the championship standings with Mark Webber on 98 points, Vettel back up to second place and early failing to score due to his disqualification. Lewis Hamilton, though, he won the the race that's his second victory of the season two drivers have won two races this year james early and lewis hamilton the two brits and fernando alonso scoring big points he's now ninth place uh, this is the constructor standings mclaren lead the way even though they have neither driver inside the top three in the championship they are first by quite a distance ahead of red bull ferrari close in on red bull though mercedes almost at 100 points renault and force india scored a decent haul of points last time out at the turkish grand prix let's jump into qualifying here we are in q1 one percent chance of rain a very low percent chance of rain and we've got the prime tires on the car yeah i like williams i like the underdogs you know right okay and that's the end of qualifying so we're starting last for this race so, James Early knocked out 24th place in Q1. Degrassi, Chandok, Senna, Petrov, Hulkenberg, and Kobayashi also knocked out. Fastest in that session is Mark Webber. <laughs> Mark Webber. Anybody but Mark Webber, man. Come on. It's Mark Webber who claims pole position ahead of Robert Kubica. He won his first ever race in Formula 1 at this very circuit back in 2008. My teammate Fernando Alonso, after scoring his first podium of the season last time out at uh, Turkey, starts in third place ahead of Massa. Alga Suari in the second, Red Bull in fifth. The second, McLaren of Hamilton in sixth place. The Renault of Vettel only in seventh ahead of Rosberg, Sotil and Kovalainen. Barrichello and Glock on the sixth row of the grid. Then it's Kobayashi and De La Rosa. I think it's Cora Kobayashi, though, not Kamui Kobayashi. Jensen Button 15th in the Williams, then it's Buemi in 16th, 17th for Yano Trulli, and we know the rest of the grid from Q1 exit, including James Early. Not for Antonio Liozzi, James Early in last place. Starting on option tyres, we'll be going to lap 22 for the primes, a 70 lap race here. There's a lot that can happen in the next 70 laps, and hopefully we can work our way into the, inside the points. Not just the points, hopefully a top five. I just need to hope that Mark Webber runs into issues. I'm losing this championship right now. We are then Webber and Kibitza on the front row of the grid. The Red Bull driver leading the world championship. My teammate Alonso is uh, in ninth place in the championship. And I sit in third in the championship. But in this race, we start down on 24th place. Awaiting the lights. There they are. Three, four, and five. The Canadian Grand Prix is underway. We've got a lightning quick start. Great reactions there. Down towards turn one, we seem to be losing out to Lucas Degrassi in that virgin car. To the outside of turn one, we go around the outside of Degrassi. Around the outside of Chandok. We have the inside line for the next left, no, the right-hander, should I say. We've gone past both Williams as well, or at least one of them. Bruno Senna is the one we dispatched. Jensen Button, his teammate, a bit further up the road as Petrov almost losing it on the curb through turn four. That's where I lost it in qualifying, because it's not just me who can make mistakes like that. It's into the hairpin of turn six for the first time. Up the inside there of Petrov, but he fights back. 20th place there. We've gained four places the first half of a lap. Maybe into the hairpin. We can make up that position on Petrov. Under braking we go. We'll have the inside line as half send on. Who's that? Jano Trulli as well. We've got past Petrov. And somebody's really slow on the exit. Kobayashi, Button, and the other Kobayashi, real slow. I put it into Rich Mix down this back straight. Our setup is tailored towards the top speed. And past them all we go. What an overtake. What a, what a first lap that is. As there's a yellow flag out. Green flag again. Somebody's into the pits. I think it's Jensen Button. We're up to 15th place. Robert Kubica in the lead. That's good. As long as it's not Mark Webber. Three laps deep into this one. We're 15th place. So we've gained nine places off the start. We're not getting dropped by the guys ahead yet. Oh, getting real close to Buemi into turn six. The pressure is on the Toro Rosso driver. <laughs> oh, come on! Okay, we're boxing this lap. It's a change of strategy. 
Oh, dearie me. The car just got loose on the curb and into the wall. I thought when we, I was saving the spin, we were kind of lining back up again. And I thought, well, I hope we don't crash into a wall here. And unfortunately, we crashed into the wall. Right, a set of the prime tyres going on. A new front wing. This is going to be a tough old race weekend now. I mean, it already was. This has been the race weekend from absolute hell. What can we achieve in this race now? You know what I want to happen? Heavy rain. Give me heavy rain. And then I'll be fast. Well, that's nice and wide. What the hairpin? Who have we? We've got Trolley and Kobayashi behind me. So it's a train of the back markers. I wish, I wish um, Rob Smedley was my race engineer. Maybe he can call me a good boy. And I can ask for the white visor. Give me the white visor. <laughs> no! Stop! Okay, let's keep an eye on the gap to Chandok. Okay, let's monitor that, that gap, guys. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, the gap to Chandok is not changing. I'm going as fast as a HRT. Is there a car side by side with me there? Into the braking zone at turn one. Am I really that slow? And there's a yellow, and it's for somebody behind. I think Kobayashi's had an incident. So here we are, starting that 15, and it, it is looking bleak. I'll be honest, guys. I'll be straight with you. It's not looking too great, but almost a minute behind the leader. 10 seconds behind Karun Chandok. I just can't catch up to him. At some point, we will pick up the pace. We'll just go faster. But I just hope I'm not a lap down by that point. We need to stay on the lead lap. Otherwise, it's over. Should have restarted qualifying. Should have restarted. I hate the curb on this. Can't wait to not play this game ever again. Oh, I'm 21st. We've gained a position. I think somebody's out the race. Ooh. Could it be Mark Webber? And now we're up to 20th place. I think another driver has dropped out the race. We remember last year, if you remember last year, the Canadian Grand Prix, only seven drivers finished the Grand Prix. Great news, it's starting to rain. If it rains heavy, that's, that's good for me because I'm fast in the rain. But I'm dangerously close to being lapped already. Well, this light rain, I, I don't see any rain. Blue flags already. It's lap 21 and we're getting blue flags for Robert Kubica. So that's the race over. That is the race over. Just go past, matey. Oh, okay. Kibitza's in the pits. Robert Kibitza, the race leader, dives into the pits. The lap, he laps me. So we're now back on the lead lap. 19th place now. Another driver has dropped out. So this is working quite well. There's a driver in the pits. So we're up to 18th place. We're now up to 17th. They genuinely are dropping like flies. Kibitza now back in the race lead. I think quite a few drivers might be on a two-stop strategy today. Imagine waking up on Christmas morning. And your family knows you like F1. Uh, but they don't know who you like. They don't know anything about it. And they get you Will Stevens bed covers. How would you feel? As we are now up to 16th. So somebody else has retired from the race. I'll let Kibitza through here on the inside. Whoa. Okay. Car just stepping out there. Alonso's not even in the points. What's going on today with Ferrari? 32.5 behind my teammate. Okay, we are closing on Bruno Senna here as we approach half race distance. And here's Weber lapping me. I have to let the Australian through if he wants to get through. No, apparently he doesn't want to. Weber now up to third because somebody's gone into the pits. I've got more blue flags. It's Rosberg again. Go on, mate. I need Mark Weber to crash. Maybe the group of slower cars will cause Mark Weber to have a catastrophic accident. Right. Rich mix now. Let's just overtake everybody. Whilst they're getting held up. Yeah, see you later, son. Goodbye, Senna. That's another position for me. Look at this craziness ahead. Whoa, button almost into the wall. Weber and Rosbo battling for second. I'll just unlap myself. Why not? On the inside. I'm going to get a penalty. Why oh, did not? Yeah, there was no rain. Going past Sebastian Buemi here. This is good work. Good work. As they're still trying to sort themselves out in the background. Oh, we're going to get lapped again. Why are they so quick? There's no, nobody in the world could keep up with these AI. Guys, you're so slow. Blue flags. Allowing Mark Webber to lap me. Ugh. Pain. Oh, Webber and Kobayashi. Contact. Contact. Crash, guys. Go on. We need more retirement.
Yo! No! What? Oh no! Oh dear. I started celebrating because I thought Weber crashed, but it wasn't even Weber. <laughs> oh dear. I locked up the tires trying to go around the incident. It wasn't even Weber that crashed. We're not having a good run of races, are we? Okay, my only hope is Weber has somehow retired from the race. We're out. Park up. Engine to off. And in the end, Mark Weber wins from pole position. An unlikely victory. But he wins. Robert Kubica in second place with Vettel in third. Rosberg missing out on the podium. Followed by Massa's Force India. The Red Bull of Al Suari. The McLaren and Lewis Hamilton the lead. And only Ferrari in the race in eighth place. Fernando Alonso. Subtle and Rubens Barrichello for Lotus scoring a single point. Those are the drivers outside the points. 17 drivers finished the race. James Early DNF 18th place. Championship is as good as gone really isn't it? Pessimistic James speaking there. It's not truly over. We're 44 points behind, sure. But there's 11 races left to go and two retirements for Weber could completely swing things in my favour. But for right now, we are down to fifth place. 44 points behind the championship leader, Mark Weber. Vettel has broken past the 100 points scored. McLaren lead the way. Red Bull second. Renault third, now ahead of Ferrari. And Mercedes are closing in. Well, I don't know what to say about that one. It was completely my fault. I locked up the tyres. I got a bit too excited thinking Mark Webber was the driver who spun and I had to navigate my way around the incident but I locked the tyres and went straight into the wall. So that's another retirement. The second retirement of this season actually and our third non-finish because of course we got disqualified in Turkey. So in the first seven races we've only finished four of those races. That is a really bad start to this year. We need this form to turn around because Mark Webber keeps Picking up the points race after race after race. And he scored big today with a massive victory here in Canada. What can we do from now? Where, where can we go from here for the rest of the season? It's an uphill battle. Thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.